hello. I hope you're all doing well. I am freezing here. It's was minus 30 yesterday, so it's probably like minus 35 today. And I'm sitting by the window, so it's a bit chillier here. And um, I'm trying to stay warm and cozy with you. And today is just a soft spoken. I just made in this nice meal, so I thought I would have a meal with you. Here I have um, like Eastern European cabbage kind of um, in the vinegar and then eggs and basmati rice with cashews and masala spice and eggs. And then I have a some kind of a flatbread Oh, and I have fried banana also in there and some kind of a flatbread with um, wild blueberry. So winter eating, very, very heavy. <laughs> and I have a glass of water. And we have um, Charlie. Is this a little line, Charlie? What's happening here? Oh, thread is coming out. There's Charlie. Oh, don't fall over, Charlie. Get comfortable, cozy. Okay. Um, I know that the background's not all like uniform today, but I have moved around my furniture, and so I have yet to get a nice background for the winter indoor videos. Um. So I'll start to eat and I'll, I'll bring my mic out too. I actually, I have a mic I bought. Mmm. Oh my God. Mmm. Mmm. All the flavors. Mmm. Oh my God. Sweet fried banana with like, um, vinegared, like jarred vegetables. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> this is very good. Oh my god. Clove. Wow. And this is like real masala, so I buy it in a bag with like maybe six spices, but the whole spice, so cardamom, anise clove, um, black pepper, um, I don't remember right now, there's two or three more, and then in a mortar and pestle, like, you break it all up, and then when the oil is frying, put those spices on there to kind of open up and pop and sizzle, and then pour the rice in and then cook the rice, um, especially basmati and brown basmati. Anyway, is very tasty. Mm. Mm. When I'm cold, I'm like doubly hungry. Um, it just takes so much energy just to stay warm. Mm. Mm. <laughs> um, it's supposed to be really cold again tomorrow, so I'm going to stay in. Mm. Stay warm, be creative, and then go out on Sunday. Because I want to go to Chinatown in Little India. Little India, I want to get some chapatis, and now that I'm cooking more on my own um, for winter, so I want to get some food there and spices there. And then in Chinatown, what did I want to get? Oh, some new masks. I Now that we're on our second round of unexpected pandemic, I need more masks. I use the best ones I found are in Chinatown. They're so nice. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-
So, I was told there's this great show, creative show I'm gonna watch tonight. It's like a series on YouTube. It's called Work of Art, The Next Great Artist. So I guess it's like art um, on kind of a, a game show kind of setup, but I heard it was good. So I'm gonna check that out tonight. Mm -hmm. What I like about chapatis, like <clears throat> Indian flatbread, is that um, it's made out of beans as well as wheat. So there's a more of a, a sustenance compared to just flatbread that's made from flours, like grain flour. If you have a chance, do try. They are delightful. Um, I'll show you. I take supplements sometimes. So today I have, um, Garden of Life, a uh, woman's organic multivitamin. Um, what's this one? Oh. This is a, um, this is like a dandelion um, artichoke capsule for liver. I've been eating kind of fatty lately, probably taxing my liver. And two vitamin D pills for a little top up. Mm. Mm. And there's ginger. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Guys, it's 10 minutes. I'm only halfway done. I think I'll end here. Huh. I'm wishing you good cooking. Use your spices. Stay warm. And find that inner flame, that kindling light, and grow your light. Oh, wait. Well, I don't know if I'm posting this today, but uh, two more days to my one-year anniversary of posting daily. 